What internet marketing expert should you spend your valuable time listening to? Listen to someone who has over 20 years of web marketing experience and hundreds of website marketing success stories. That man is Aaron Sparks from Site Strategics. And this is Edge of the Web Radio. We are going to talk about this article. We've been talking this this entire show about the loss of some visibility uh, as we measure site traffic. If you're a site owner or a marketer, for that exa- for that matter, that focuses in on inside of internet marketing, one of the biggest factors that you were looking at were what what keywords people were typing in to find your website. Not only where you rank, but what brought them to your website. Mm-hmm. It was important because we were developing content around those wants those 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 factors and now the blinds have been drawn so to speak uh google's no longer sharing that data so even if you do have some data that you're seeing right now still being typed in for your website ultimately uh they're going to close that door completely and you're not going to see what people really typed in to find you yeah right? not only do we develop content around the keywords that we see come in but we also can make improvements on those keywords so if we if we see a keyword coming in like our indianapolis seo if we see a lot of people coming in on that keyword, but 90% of them are jettisoning away right away, we're not providing the value that that customer is expecting for those keywords. And so that's a way for us as marketers, uh, to whether it's uh, Indianapolis restaurants or lawn care or pet care, right. um, it, it, whatever keywords people are coming in, we can see how effective that keyword is and if we're providing the right content. And, Red tutus, whatever yep, it is. Yep. Um, you know, the use of for key, keyword referral data uh, were, 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 were paramount for finding opportunities to imp- improve the page performance, connecting to rank improvement, as well as understanding how searches perceive your brand and content. Well, what now? What? How do we? How do, how do we find imp- opportunities to improve a page's ranking or performance? Well, what we're looking at is the rank tracking plus the pages that are receiving search visits. Our, our, our goal here right now is to tell you that there, are, there is some hope on understanding the value of, of the data that you're getting now inside of Google Analytics. Basically, you can use different tools that are out there. Mm-hmm. There's web, Google Webmasters will actually show you where you actually are showing up in the searches before they even get to your website. Okay, we can also rank a uh, track a particular page that's ranking on a particular keyword, and we can also show how much how many search visits come to that particular page. So, like Doug was talking earlier in the other segment, is that we can certainly reset and be able to see by those values how valuable content is to those searchers. You know, you need to connect SEO SEO efforts with traffic growth. Using AdWords also to bid on non-branded terms, phrases, to be able to monitor the growth of certain terms, right? Using Google Insights as well as AdWords for volume data of, of, of traffic that's being able to spike. Be able to track those rankings on buckets of fat head terms as opposed to mid or long tail. Now, this is an article by, by Rand Fishkin over at Moz, uh, moz.com, moz.org actually. Um, they, they have a great whiteboard discussion about this very thing. So you want to be able to track rankings of some high volume traffic to be able to see where you're ranking as well as the mid-tier, three word phrases, mm-hmm. as well as long terms to be able to see how you're comparing against the visits that are coming in. You know, track pages that are receiving that search and bucket of tracked keywords. How do you analyze this or understand how searches, searches are actually perceiving your brand? Well, you can bid on AdWords terms. You can be able to, I mean, and this is, the whole thing is not built to enhance the ad environment. The, 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 the disclosure, lack of disclosure now of keywords is not a Google effort to up their, their AdWord traffic. I wouldn't say that's a, probably a sidecar benefit. <laughs> yeah. But um, the, the point is there's a lot of tools out there. You can use Google Suggest, which, which will com- combine terms that are being trafficked upon. SEM Rush, Doug, we were talking about that I a little while ago. My S- favorite tool in the world. It's a fantastic investment. Yeah. And it shows uh, the, the health of a website, the organic rank, but on top of that, the value of different terms uh, and be able to, to put together a strategy to be able to write content for. So it's not necessary to have your keyword ranking data in an and I'd make the argument that if you're writing content just in reflection of the data that's actually the keywords that are actually finding you, it's a bit of a self-fulfilling pro- prophecy. There is that what you don't, where you're not ranking, and what you where you weren't ranking for keywords that you were, weren't seeing, mm-hmm. right? 
you weren't paying attention to unless you were looking outside in the different third-party tools to begin with. Right. You yeah. know, it's like, okay, if I only have 100 visits, then I better rank for all these 100 visits. Well, I mean, you may be, but the market's probably over there someplace, and if you don't have eyes on where you're ranking, in, in, even on high eyes of the holes of your ranking portfolio, yep. right, then you're not really meet, meeting your market needs. So internal site search data using Google Site Search is also something you plug into your website yeah. and show what consumers are actually interacting with on your mm -hmm. own content. You know, um, you, you can un, uh, you can uncover new keyword uh, opportunities by using keyword research tools like that, as well as rank tracking data. Google AdWords campaign is fantastic if you do it right to be able to see what's effective, what's not, yeah. what's bringing keyword traffic, which you have to log into now. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, all things considered, there is a solution out there, and we certainly want you guys, our listeners, to be able to contact us and ask questions. We mm -hmm. can certainly get a snapshot of your profile right now as it looks inside of, inside of all of the search engine rankings and the volume of traffic that's coming to you. Some professionals, what they say about this, uh, we're going to post those on the line on, on Edge of the Web Radio. Uh, we're going to put a few quotes up there because there is a buzz going on right now about this very thing. But do not be afraid because there was an uh, eventual uh, evolution to this point anyway. Mm -hmm. Keyword data was not the key pin of success for a site that everybody thought it was. And we're telling you, we've got the tools that can help you see outside of the, of the little box that you are looking at. Don't be a piece of cyber drift. We'll see you next week. Edge of the Web Radio.